Hello, my name is Brian Stevenson, and I am your host of the Cyber Chronicles. We scrub the internet so you don't have to. This week, we've got some really interesting articles entering up on October 13th. We have a lot of uh, espionage, Chinese halted the Chinese cyber theft. We have a video call that can compromise your what apps account. And we have a um, cyber test that shows that nearly all Pentagon weapons are vulnerable to being hacked. And then, of course, the number one thing a lot of people are talking about are Google Plus and Google Plus is compromised. So let's get started. Okay, the fifth most popular article of the week comes to us from QZ.com, a very interesting article. The UK is practicing cyber attacks that could black out Moscow. We talked about this last week. The British have decided to have a, an offensive task force for cybersecurity in case um, they need to take it the offensive. The British official, official said on uh, Saturday that they practice cyber games that could shut off all the electricity of the Russian capital. The measures are in part a wider range of strategies to hit back at the ever-increasing assert of Russia, accused of interfering with the U.S. elections, cyber attacks on Western targets, and the poisoning of a former spy on U.K. soil without resorting to a full-blown nuclear attack. So what they're talking about here is the next generation of offense. They, uh, they're going through military exercises, included one of the largest they've ever done, they had over 5,000 troops in the Omana Desert to prepare, a, to prepare for a confrontation with unconventional Russian forces like those used in China. Cyber weapons are seen as a potential deterrent and a way to avoid direct military confrontation. The suggestion that world leaders are pushing back on Putin's increasing gr uh, aggressive cyber operations, alleging that they broke into vital U.S. Uh, electric grids is one of the reasons that Russia went public, I believe, with this to say, hey, we've got the same capability. Very interesting article. You'll have the link at the bottom of our, our podcast here, Tim. So take a look. Hey, our fourth most popular article of the week comes to us from Wired Magazine. If you don't subscribe to Wired Magazine, we highly recommend it. They're probably one of the best magazines out there dedicating resources to doing in-depth cybersecurity investigations like the one we're going to talk about how the U.S. halted China's cyber theft using a Chinese spy. They talk about in depth how they located a spy that was living in Canada. They're trying to extradite him now, but now to the United States. China was the world's most advanced economy overnight in no small small part to it says in here in the article a rampant state-sponsored theft of intellectual property of virtually every other country. This extended campaign included commercial espionage raided almost every highly developed economy. Um, British inventor James Dyson complained publicly that the Chinese theft is, um, for his design, was a use of his to high-end vacuum cleaners. By and far, the biggest targets have been trade and military secrets from the United States. Chinese have um, vehemently denied these allegations for a long time. There's been a lot of reluctance um, on the U.S. to uh, to do anything with it, but I think it's finally reached this point where people have had enough so they they started doing some investigations private um, cybersecurity firms released a string of damning investigation reports about china although they don't mention it here we're talking about my very own FireEye, kevin manny and if you looked at uh, uh, the man who got the chinese red-handed uh, FireEye was one of the first companies to find the, uh, the the footprints of the Chinese government and what they were trying to do. So the Justice Department is now um, jumping in. They're starting to take action. Um, they talk an interesting article in here. One of the secrets they were trying to design is America's most advanced cargo aircraft, the C-17 military transport, a $202 million, $202 million unit created by Boeing. The C-17 has been the most expensive military planes ever developed by the U.S. Air Force costing over $31 billion to create. But since its completion, um, the C-17 has become a means of delivering troops, vehicles, and supplies to frontline wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, as well as others, as well as humanitarians. So they were attempting to, to take that technology, find that technology, uh, steal that technology, and they were able to locate in this investigation, you can go through it, there's 1,500 pages, the FBI, went through on things that this gentleman had done, this Chinese person, and um, had been transferring information back and forth because he had a um, his own company in China, and uh, they are extraditing him 
under the impression it's not going to be easy, but his initial court appearances decided to send a subtle message uh, to China that the uh, U.S. government's not going to take these types of um, um, espionage is issues anymore. So, uh, interesting article. I think times are starting to change a little bit, and we're starting to realize, yes, in fact, we are in World War III, and China is stealing a lot of our secrets. So, the interesting article by Wired Me Magazine. Please pick it up. Please read it. You'll have the link below in our podcast description. Okay, our third most popular article of the week is by the Hacker News. Our friends over at Hacker News that always have good stuff, good content every week. Just by answering a video call could compromise your what WhatsApp account. Tells you what I don't know. I don't never heard of this, but apparently people have WhatsApp on your smartphone. And just by receiving a call, there is a researcher from uh, Google Project Zero who was able to determine a critical vulnerability that could allow hackers to take full control of your WhatsApps. Uh, video just by calling you over the messaging app. So they're recommending. Okay, our second most popular article of the week, and I really like the fact that people are starting to read these things. Um, I don't like the fact of what it's talking about, but um, NPR had the most shared, although a lot of people had wrote about this. C cyber tests show nearly all Pentagon weapons are vulnerable to attack, GAO says. So passwords that took seconds to guess or were never changed from the factory sec settings were easily hacked, central vulnerabilities were known, never fixed, two common problems, plaguing some of the Department of Defense, newest weapons according to the General Accountability Office. The, high, the flaws were highlighted in a new GAA report which found the Pentagon is just been beginning to grapple with the weapon systems. This is uh, serious stuff. They need to take um, cybersecurity more seriously um, as we've been talking about in the Cyber Chronicles for some time. Um, despite the steady growth of importance of computers and networks, the GAO said the Pentagon has almost, almost only recently decided to make a priority to insert cybersecurity weapons of our, of our weapon systems. Um, they said here that there was a test team that was able to guess an administrative password in nine seconds. Multiple weapon systems were used in commercial or open source so software but did not change the default password once the software was installed, which took a test team to look up the password on the internet and gain administrative passwords for that software. So um, massive safety concerns, obviously, that if we have these vulnerabilities in our um, weapon systems, they need to take cyber uh, basics seriously. Read that article. It comes from the Hacker News. We're going to move on to our sponsor here. Okay, stay tuned to our number one article, but before we get to that, we're going to go to our sponsor's message from Focus Point Technologies, also Fortinet and FireEye. We'd like to do shout-outs to them for this week for making this episode possible. So, but let's get started with an, a quick message from one of our sponsors. Focus Point Technologies is a woman-owned cybersecurity solutions provider. We are headquartered in Minnesota, and we have a unique approach. Our Security Technology Optimization Program, or STOP as we like to call it, takes a look at unused and overlapping functionality in the tool sets that you already own with the goal of lessening the number of vendors in your environment and saving your organization money. Give us a call at 651-330-5521. Okay, our number one shared article of the week was on the Google Plus hack. Over 500,000 users were hacked on this uh, this hack. Google decided not to announce it due to the breach to, uh, because to avoid regulatory scrutiny and reputational damage, according to this article by CNBC. The uh, Google also announced it's going to be shutting down its consumer functionality over the next 10 months and focusing only on business users. Quite curious on how they're going to do that. But that was our number one article of the week. Google Plus compromised 500,000 users, um, and it appears they're just going to shut down that social site and move on. So thank you so much for listening to Cyber Chronicles. We look forward to you uh, listening to us next week. Take care.